Okay, so the right-hand one here, Charles, was your before. Again, for me, a lot of good things in your setup. All you had a little bit of a head down on your chest a little bit more than we wanted to, okay? Now, you're not going to see much of posture from here, okay? But you can just see there, the head's yeah, a little yeah. bit higher up rather than sort of pop down there, okay? So that's definitely going to help your rotation. This was your first swing now, one of your first few swings. Very leggy on the way back, taking the goal club back. <laughs> Shoulder turn's great, but there's a lot of leg going back. A lot of leg going through. I mean, that left leg movement from where it starts down, it's probably going from there to about there to about there. So, big move there. Yeah, that's a lot. I mean, yeah. if you watch the tour players this weekend in the Open, their leg move is probably from there to about there. Yeah, yeah? it's going to be probably somewhere there, which again, you could swing to there. And if we look at this one, this is the practice swing, okay? But we'll look how much leg movement. It's not going to go back that much. That's better. Now that's how far your back swing needs to go. Absolutely fine. And then from there, swinging through. Oh, yeah, there. it hasn't gone as far. Hasn't gone as far, you see. So okay, look no, at those follow-throughs. I get that. I've got... I mean, look, look at that and that yeah. and look at that and look at that. I mean, if you're watching golf, that looks like a golf. We swung a golf club up on his toe there nicely, moving to your left side with the top half, not really sliding that oh. classic reverse sick. This is obviously practice swings, yeah, which yeah, no, generally no, no, take yeah. a bit easier. Yeah. But I would always encourage people to do practice swings because the more you do practice swings, the more your brain's going to start feeling these movements better. Okay. So again, oops, sorry. hip movement. That was a little bit more, but that's that's probably within the window of acceptance. Okay, how much that legs moved on the way back. Knees gone a little bit there. Head was down there, and then sort of whooped it through, and then you kind of straighten things. So it wasn't too bad that one. So do you think the I'll, call, I'll say the eyes rather than yeah, yeah. Are the eyes literally following the ball almost? Pretty much, as much yeah. As you can I mean, well, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's quick anyway, so there's going to be a delay. I mean, say like, following the ball, following your club. I'm yeah, saying. well, exactly. I mean, there's going to be a delay because obviously the, the club is working very fast. If you try and twist it that quick, you'll probably break your neck, to be fair. Yeah. But just, that is just staying down for way too long and so on. The ball's gone. What are you looking down? There's nothing down here to look at to see what's happened, is it? It's, it's, it's been done. The ball's been hit. It's on its way. Go look to where it's gone, kind of thing. Not yeah. like what happened down there. This one now was a. A good move there. Much better leg movement there, okay? Left knee now, does it go patch side your foot? Just about, but not too bad. Again, a little bit less, and then a quick peek through, okay? And then when the ball gets in the way now, like I say, just think looser grip and maybe quieter legs could be a thought. What we'll see now in terms of this, when the ball's in the way, that's a good knee move on the way back. But obviously instinct here now, the knees are going to want to go, as you can see there. So this is not too dissimilar to the one you did over there. <laughs> but it's kind of in between. So there's kind of number one swing, there's number two, and the practicing was like number three over here somewhere, yeah? a different yeah. kind of movement, okay? The more practice swings we can implement, the more we'll start moving down that kind of line towards where you want to get to, as opposed to just doing this and thinking too much. Do I think the dragging drill for you is going to be a good one where we sort of start with the club here and then scrape the club along the ground towards your left. And really felt you're almost pushing the club into the ground. The feeling, I think, from the top of the batch and a lot of people get when they get this movement better is you're actually swinging downhill, okay? So from here now, I'm up here, I'm swinging downhill. We don't want to be going knees and dropping this shoulder underneath and getting this sort of uphill. Yeah, I think that's the bit I've read about and I don't quite understand yeah. it. And I know I'm not quite doing it. Yet. And that's the thing, a lot of times that, people yeah. read magazines, they'll watch YouTube clips, they'll see, they'll, they'll, they'll misinterpret what they've heard. Yeah. And so many things you hear day in, day out, and so on, it's like, yeah. Keep your head down, keep your left arm straight, slow it down, bend your knees, get under the ball, and they're just all mm. BS, unfortunately. And, and the more you try them, the more you put stress and pain on that part of your body, your neck's not going to enjoy looking down there. I mean, if you just do that speed, it's going to hurt, yeah, okay? Yeah. And if you look at any golfer when they're playing shots this week in the Open, they're all going to be finishing up on that front foot there, okay? Finishing like that. So if we can get yourself more into that position yeah. as opposed to that one on the right, we got a fighting chat. Like I say, this will still feel comfortable and you'll probably be halfway between that and that, mm -hmm. okay? But we want to go gradually to that better position, not okay. boom there, because if we feel so strange, you just miss the ball and you'll be like, I can't play golf in this, okay? But again, I practice with some smaller swings, feeling that top half movement. Mm -hmm. Swing up against a wall, that'd be another good one, okay, as I said, so you can make some swings with no club, just your arms, okay? Or put your arms across your chest, just swing against, that's a wall from here now, just swing there, turn, move into that wall and just, move around it we're not going to be going if that knee goes out behind outside of your left leg there the knee slides the top half leaning back okay and the more it leans back the more up and out you're going to hit it bottom of the club out probably a bit earlier than you want to and then we're going to be scuffing it so okay 
Does all that make sense? Perfect. Kind of got that. What I would suggest when you go to the range, if you do practice, or even at home in some swings, yeah. take some videos from Face On. That's the video lesson for the day. Send them back to me and say, how's it looking? I'd always sort of go away and do some practice and sort of go the other end of the spectrum and be the wrong end the other side. Damn, you will do that quickly, but to go take from... Some videos yeah, face to take videos Yeah, from this direction looking at it. So we're seeing your space. Put, put a camera on the wall somewhere, or maybe you want to film it or whatever, and just yeah. take some swings in the garden, just so we can see. And again, looking at yourself as well, and you sort of say, oh, okay, well, that actually looks better. If you think it's good, send them across. If you're not too sure how it's looked, but it doesn't quite look right, again, send them over. Yeah. Keep in contact. And we can see them before the next session how it's going so we can get some progress from today to kind of there. To keep them how, moving do book, a bit. how do I book another session? You book them all online now. We've got the online booking system, which I'll show you now when you get back in the shop if you want to, okay? Yeah. Does that all make sense on you? Right. Perfect. Yeah.